guys hello it's artem here quick video i want to show my way of building bubble application so i will go super fast i will start with this small presentation screen and then i will go to bubble and show how how i build it so basically you have two ways of building uh application in bubble you can have multi-page app so you add new pages with uh, when you want to add some or or show up some features so for example you have like dashboard page a login page then you go like feature one feature two feature three etc it's okay to do like this but uh to compare to single page app uh multi-page app much slower because you need to wait a long in time f uh, when you navigate from one, one page to another in single page app so you you use like two or three pages so basically you have like login page you can have some like onboarding page or something if you need and then you have like a main page with all your containers and uh, all the containers is reusable elements you create reusable, a reusable element with the name of your feature of your screen you create all the workflows you need you add all all the information you need the reusable element and then you create on one page container where you put all the reusable element and you using uh, option uh, option sets and states to change uh, which reusable element you want to show uh, on uh, on the, on this time so uh, look at this navigation uh, screen right here if i click uh, to change to change screen you see it's super fast it's like seamless transitions but for example if we click on this button to go to uh, knowledge base i created knowledge base just to compare uh, i look here i used knowledge base on a particular page you see login and then uh, team wiki and all of this is reusable elements to look at this transition it takes like maybe one two seconds but if i click right here it's just like seamless there is no difference between going to this page and going to this page is we changing we changing content that show that's being show up but you see you have like um really your application become really fa really fast and for a user perspective it's much better to do like this so how how we, how we create this type of application so you have index page or you create you create one page where your content will show up on this page you creating floating group and name it like views or something or floating group main you, you can create your own name and then you put all your reusables here what is a reusable element if you don't know it's just an um, element that you can use multiple times within your application so for example you can create a header make it re reusable and then put this header um, everywhere in your app and change it from one place you don't need to go like and change one um, for example um, size of the icon everywhere in your app so you see um, reusable element is kind of like um like a page but it's but um, it is container so you go here you can use all the elements you can use all the workflows it will act as a group holding all the stuff including workflows including elements including states including other stuff so then you create all the elements mm, like that are representing your app so all the features you need like for example for my case is task projects uh team dashboard with all the users so everywhere you see like different workflows everywhere so I created everything i'm ready and then i just go to index page and i put all this element to my floating group views just like this you see for example this is my task this is my um, uh, projects this is my users this is my uh, inbox feed this is dashboard so you put uh, everything here and now look at the conditionals get data for page url item number two is task so um, what does it mean uh, we changing when the user click 
on our menu button right here, we are changing uh, URL settings. We go to the same page and send in data to page URL. And then based on page URL, we, we are showing um, one of these reusable elements. Uh, one tip I want to give you is go to your data, uh, go to your option sets, create. So you create option set navigation for each of your reusable element. And then you make a workflow, which is go to header and I will show you. For example, for example, when user click on this uh, community word, what we do, we go to page index. So my page where, where I hold all my reusables and I'm, I'm sending community. I, I call option set navigation and choose navigation mm, menu item that I need. And then let me, let me delete and I will show you. So you just go like this. When the user click on community, like a community menu item, I do get, get an option. I choose option, uh, option set that I need. In this case, navigation. And then which, uh, um, which option? Community. And then what I need? Display. Let me show you one more time. So in this case, you need only one, only one uh, option set field is display. Um, you can create one more a field called label and call it, for example, with the capital letter. Why you need label? For example, if you want to um, use option sets to change the titles of, the, of your page. But it's not this important. Um, you need to understand just the concepts on, of single page uh, navigation. So you create option set navigation by clicking on the menu item, you go to the same page where all your reusables uh, uh, land and you change uh, URL based on the menu item that uh, user click. And then at the end, uh, you use conditionals to show which element um, the user, the, uh, which, which element the, you need to show to user. Let's, let's um, look at one more time. So for example, when get data from page URL, item number two is task. The same, we get an option. So let me do one more time. You go to your reusable, you go to on the, on the main page, not on the um, reusable element itself. You go, you go to your floating groups views, you put your reusables and then on these reusables, you do like this and get data from page URL, pass segmented as list. Item number two, in my case, is get an option. Um, option set navigation, and then you choose uh, which one you need in, in uh, this, uh, this case, it's, it's task. And then you choose because I have two um, option set field. So I choose display. The element is visible and you, and you it is the same for, for everything except you change the option set uh, value navigation value and this like this so is that just one simple com concept that will let you build super super efficient super fast application you can create really um complex and uh, high demanding application with a lot of data fields, a lot of data types, and they will work really fast, mm, which will make your users more, more satisfied by using your application. So this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Uh, please leave a comment or likes if you like this video. See you next time. Bye bye.